In a previous session, we made a pinch pot, we smoothed it out, and we rounded out the shape a bit. In this session, we're gonna add some details to form this pinch pot into a calavera or a skull. One aspect of our pinch pot calavera is that it's able to hold a tea light inside so that it lights up. In order for it to fit, we need to make sure that we leave a two inch opening in the bottom of our pinch pot. To start shaping this into a skull shape, we're gonna begin by forming the jaw. So we're gonna gently grab the bottom and start pinching in one side in order to create a oblong shape that looks more like a jaw. We're gonna to continue to form the jaw by pushing in a little bit of an indentation on either side of the jaw. Put your hand on the inside for support and using your thumb, gently massage and push a little bit of an indentation into the side where the jawbone meets with the rest of the skull. We're gonna do this on both sides. With a basic shape for the jaw formed, we're now going to press some indentations in for the eyes. We want to do this going around the center of the skull, and again, gently push your thumbs into the clay in order to form some indentations while supporting the inside with your other hand. Now just above the eyes towards the center, I'm gonna press in a little bit more to help start forming some eyebrows or the frontal bone on the skull. Now let's try to refine the basic skull shape just a little bit. It's a good idea before we get too far along to double check and make sure that that tea light still fits on the inside. We want to make sure we have about a two inch opening in order to fit this once the clay shrinks. Let's compare this with a few others that I've made so far. You can see on this one I've shaped it slightly different and I've begun to outline a hole for the nose. In our next session, we're gonna to begin to outline and cut out some of the facial features for the eyes, nose, and mouth. 